Joaquin, Joaquin, I'm here to tell you. I'm here to tell you. I'm a great lover of 80s music. Are you? 80s punk. Yes, yes, Graham. I am a big fan of 80s punk. <laughs> No. Not quite sure what he's saying there, but I like the sound of it. And, well, <laughs> I think it'll remain a mystery to me, but maybe my next guest can help. Please welcome singer, actress, but most importantly, the high priestess of punk herself, it's Toya Wilcox! <laughs> <laughs> I've just come to meet you. <laughs> it's so nice. You and Hannah? <laughs> and, but now, now, Toy Wilcox, she's back with the music after a, a serious gap. He's too young to remember me. I had hits in Spain, but you're far too young to remember me. Yeah. No, yeah, I remember. Do you think he understands no, me? He does. <laughs> no, I understand. No. Oh, no, no, he does. He does. Because I said to him, I said to him during the break. Toya, Toya, Toya. And eventually he just said, yes. <laughs> <laughs> so I think he does. Um, and now, Joaquin, with all the money you're making, you can go out and buy Toya's new EP. <laughs> because, you know, because when I... I advert. advert. No, no. No, because I have to say, when I, when I saw that they said, oh, and she's on Plug Your New EP, I just imagined it would be, like, a few greatest hits chucked together. But, no, it's new. It's very new. I'm writing from my age point of view. Um, I don't know if you can understand this, no. but um, all my girlfriends, their children are beautiful. But when I say their children, their children uh -huh. are about 24 years old. And I find I'm sitting around meal tables fancying my best friend's children. <laughs> <laughs> so I've kind of written lyrics. No, I'm talking about 24-year-old children here. They're so, still appalled. <laughs> <laughs> so, I, you know, I'm kind of writing lyrics that the fact that, you know, the, Desire is very strong in, in, you know, women of my age. Look out, Desire. whack him. Uh, yeah, watch it, mate. <laughs> <laughs> but now, um, you do look fantastic. You do look... And I hear you exercise an amazing amount. I do. I do a lot of it. I do about two hours aerobics a day because I'm addicted to it. But when I'm in the car, because I get so bored driving, I do facial exercises. So I'm in traffic jams going... <laughs> <laughs> and people are looking at me and they think I'm... A, mouthing obscenities at them and I'm actually doing my face exercises. Driving my god, look there's Toya lip syncing to your old songs. How sad. <laughs> <laughs> because I've got something I think you might like for the old face exercises. It's a bit of a triumphant thing this. <laughs> it is this. It's uh, this is a non-surgical face lifting device. It's a chin muscles tonifier. Here it is. And this is the instruction manual. And this is the actual chin thingy thingy. So you put, I like the fact, how scientific is this, Dr. Curtis? Uh, chin muscles tonifier. Mm. <laughs> it's a scientific word. We see it a lot. It's a tonifier. Uh, so you put it on like that, right? And you pull it down like that. <laughs> and then that's it, right? <laughs> uh, 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 yeah, but what does it do? What well, it tunes your chin. It's a chin tonifier. <laughs> and, uh, and I do look terrible. <laughs> <laughs> Presumably, what's good about it is you take it off and you do look better. <laughs> you look like such a git with it on. <laughs> I'm beautiful. <laughs> Ugly. Beautiful. Bad. Uh, <laughs> that's your gift. Oh, cheers. Hey, any time. Do you think you're supposed to chew on something while it's on? Listen, there's a whole pamphlet there. You can read that. Thank Lovely. You. <laughs> you, you were a punk. You know, you're famous for your different coloured hair. Uh, have you, you never dyed your hair? No. No. No, natural. Very good. Uh, but I wondered, when you did all the pink hair and everything, bit of a personal question now, but did you ever bother to match the carpets <laughs> to the curtains? No, but I was asked in an audition once, um, when I did the Ebony Tower with Greta Sacchi and Lord Olivier, where I had to have red hair, if I would dye my pubes that colour. And what did you say? The worst thing was, my manager was the one that wanted me to do it. I, I said, no way, no way. 
Is it worse dying down there? Yeah, but it's worse having red hair down there. <laughs> oh, I see what you mean. You just can't do it. Yes, <laughs> the, 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 the stigma of ginger. <laughs> um, well, listen, uh, we wanted to see if we could, if we could match people's uh, curtains to carpets. Right? If it's, if, it's, if it's possible to do... Look, he's completely lost. Yeah, you'll be really lost in a minute. <laughs> but, uh, but no, you won't be. No, do you understand? Carpet. Uh -huh. No, no. <laughs> anyway, I got that wrong. It's... Curtains. Spanish for curtains, please. Cortinas. Cortinas. <laughs> Cheap Ford car on my head. <laughs> Cortinas and c uh, carpet. Uh, carpeta. Carpeta? Mm. What the hell are you oh, doing here? <laughs> <laughs> Curtains, carpets. Of course you understood. <laughs> <laughs> I'll have words with you, senorita, afterwards. <laughs> Never trust the yellow pages. <laughs> um, we've got three guys outside. So, uh, where are they? There they are! <laughs> oh. So, contestant number one... Oh, look, he's giving us a up. Contestant number one, now that looks like... Uh, is that ginger hair? Chestnut. Chestnutty hair? Chestnutty gingery hair? Ginger hair. Okay. What do we think the colour of the carpet is? <laughs> ginger? <laughs> no, it's going to be darker. It will be darker, I'm sure. Are we going beyond dark ginger? A lady up there going, Auburn. <laughs> I don't think Dr. Curtis would go, colour of pubes, Auburn. <laughs> Strawberry blonde. <laughs> uh, what are we saying? Quick. Brown. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, head you went. Ginger brown. Okay, let's see. Contestant number one. What colour are the carpets? Oh. They are ginger. Oh. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I don't think there's any need to dwell on the carpet that long. <laughs> Do you? Uh, we got the picture. Now, this is a difficult one. No clues at all. Oh, <laughs> eyebrows. 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 So, uh, there comes dark, dark brown. Dark brown? Black. Black. Yeah, but the others were lighter, weren't they? They were actually lighter than his hair. Um, light brown. Mouse. Mouse. Yeah. Mouse. We're going with mouse. 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 Yeah. <laughs> Like, phone a friend, I don't want to be a millionaire. My friend said mouse. Mouse. <laughs> Final answer. <laughs> Max. Okay, contestant number two, we're looking for mouse. <laughs> oh! <laughs> is that mouse? I don't know what color that is. <laughs> that was that was. It was more of an oil bird. I think we're doing quite well so far. Contestant number three. Contestant number three. Whoa. <laughs> the hair colour, unfortunate. <laughs> Should we say ginger? Brown? Auburn? No one has Auburn pubes! <laughs> God, autumnal. That's going to be really mouse. mouse. Ginger, mouse, ginger. OK, we would need one answer. Ginger. Joaquin, decide. Ginger. Ginger. Joaquin says ginger. Let's see if Mr. Cortez is right. Question number three, what colour are the cards? Oh, they're nothing! Thank you, thank you. <laughs> well, maybe not that last, man. Uh, listen, we've, we've run out of time. I'm really sorry. But uh, thank you very much for joining us tonight. Big thanks to my guest, Joaquin Cortez and Toya Wilcox!